Hi, my name is Oscar and I'm a scientist. In this channel we talk about green card categories where you can self-petition. Today we're going to cover a topic that a lot of people love and that is visa bulletin predictions. I'm going to tell you all about it and I'm going to give you my own personal prediction to what is about to happen in the future of the visa bulletin. Let's jump in. If you are not new to this channel, you know very well that I never give predictions for pretty much anything. But today may be a little bit of a different video. And that is because in all my visa bulletin reports, when I talk about the analysis of the visa bulletin for a certain month, and here on the screen I have June 2023, there's always people asking about my predictions. And, you know, I can scroll down to the to the comment section and you see for example let me zoom in here um, I have priority day of blah, blah blah how many years can it take for me do you have any idea and this one is in Spanish but it says Oscar what are your predictions for October for EB2 and this uh, this is also in Spanish and it says for F2B that's a family B, uh, green car uh, it hasn't moved almost at all, uh, it's been uh, more than a year and a half, what is going on? So you see that there's some uh, correlation here on all these comments and it's like people really want to uh, hear my predictions, they want to hear me saying what is going to happen in the future. Uh, as you know the Visa Bulletin is a monthly publication, it happens every month more or less um, in the first two weeks they release the Visa Bulletin for the coming month. Um, it tells us how long we have to wait in line, how long are those lines of people waiting for a green card, waiting for a just status, waiting for the consular processing of their approved I-140. So it is a very popular topic if you, uh, let me share again, if you look for Visa Bulletin prediction, you will find uh, a lot of videos with forecasts, with predictions about, about um, the Visa Bulletin. Because this is something that sells really well. People are going to click on videos where they are promised a prediction on what's about to happen. And that happens with everything in life. Not only with Visa Bulletin, it also happens with financial uh, education. For example, if you are into those kind of YouTube channels, um, there's a lot of videos on what is going to happen, when the recession is going to happen, when the next crisis is going to hit. In all topics, people want to know what's going to happen so they can anticipate. And I, I totally understand. Um, however, if you click on those videos, uh, even though in the moment you may appreciate that kind of video, they will always have very, very strong disclaimers. And that is because they really cannot know what is going to happen in the visa bulletin because only USAS and only the Department of State, State knows. For example, this is uh, a video that I clicked on by this channel, US Immigration. It's a very, very uh, big channel, more than 200k subscribers, and they have this December 2022 visa bu bulletin prediction. I picked December just as a, as a model here, just to show you. Um, and they say these calculations and date movement is just based on the various unofficial inputs and analysis and should not be relied upon, upon as legal advice. So this is something that all these channels have in common. They will give you the disclaimer before they, they make the prediction. And then they, um, they go on to say later in the video that for in this particular case for December, EB2 India and China may make forward movement in coming months while the rest of the world remains current. Okay, so actually um, I picked December just as a, as a random month. I have it open right here. So I went through the visa bulletin again and here they are telling us, okay, India and China may make forward movement in coming months. Well, in that particular month they did not move at all, so <laughs> they failed in their prediction rest of the world remains current and guess what this december if you remember for eb2 it was the the first month where um, eb2 actually didn't remain current it had been current for many many months and this was the first month where it actually started retrogressing so of course they are trying to be conservative because that is what it was happening in the previous months they bet that it would continue, but it changed, and then, of course, they failed. 
Here I have another example. This is a smaller channel, the H1B guy. He, I think he posts a video every week. One of the videos he makes every month is about predictions. It may be nice for him because, you know, this is a video where basically he can say whatever he wants. And he actually, he is uh, telling you that if you watch the video, he says these uh, forecasts are based on just my opinion. So he just gives you some numbers. For example, final action dates for December 2022, India and China. So India, December 22, China, December 22. So let's take a look at the actual uh, bulletin for, for, and that was what, EB, EB1. So actually they are all current. So he didn't get it. Uh, then we see EB2, India, April 2012. China, June 2019, so we went to the visa uh, bulletin, and again, <clears throat> um, he didn't, he didn't, um, well, he got China right, <laughs> attention, he got uh, China right, 8 June 2019, India, October 2011, he failed there, so as you see, like, w we just look at four dates, he got one right and three wrong, and of course, mm, you know, if the, unless this uh, H-1B guy works in the USAS or the Department of State, uh, there's no way he can know uh, what the days are going to be. This guy actually goes a little bit further. He not only predicts what is going to happen with the visa bulletin dates, he actually, in another moment of this video that I have here, he actually predicts when the December 2022 visa bulletin will be released. So, and he gives three days. He's, he says, well... Um, he thinks November 7th is when it's going to be released, but just in case, I'm also saying November 8th and November 9th, why not? And I actually went back to my video because I released uh, Visa Bulletin Analysis on the day they are releasing it or, or one day later. And the December Visa Bulletin was released in November 17th, I believe. So <laughs> he was off by, I don't know, like 10 days. Um, does he care? Not really, because, you know, he, he already told you that these numbers are completely made up. Now, what do I think about this? Do I think this is um, ethical or not ethical? Well, I mean, clearly they are giving you the disclaimer, so they are not lying. <clears throat> However, these channels are making money, either through um, audience, either through YouTube um, advertisement, or in some cases, like the H1B guy, he is actually advertising inside the video for a different company. So he is making money off of these videos that he releases once, once a month. So in my opinion, it is not very ethical to issue videos where you are just saying random stuff, just so it's, um, it's a very uh, high clickbait kind of uh, video. And he, he just makes money mm, saying something that is basically not true. I mean, not true. Sometimes it's true just by chance. But even though he's, he's telling you the disclaimer, he's profiting out of this. And when I say he, I don't want to pick on, uh, um, uh, on this guy. He, I saw other videos. He, he actually has an interesting channel. I don't have anything against this guy. And by all means, if, if you are interested, go and subscribe to his channel. Uh, the other channel I showed, I also have nothing against it. But to be honest, it's just a mashup of uh, content that is out there. They just put a, a robotic voice and, and it's a very successful channel. So mm, nothing against it, but that is not the model I want for my channel. I want to put out videos that even though um, some videos I consider they are very, very interesting and, and I put a lot of time on them because that's the kind of video I would like to have seen when I was putting together my own do-it-yourself application some of those videos get uh, very little attention uh, versus, for example, the, my Visa Bulletin analysis videos where I talk about the actual days on the Visa Bulletin. Those are very popular and those actually, mm, for me, they are no effort videos because I just go through the Visa Bulletin, I digest it a little bit and I talk about them with you versus other videos where I work a lot and I think they bring so much value and they don't do very well. But that doesn't matter because what matters about this channel is that we are helping each other, where we are he helping the community of do-it-yourselfers for EB1A, for EB2 NIW and anyone else who is interested in, in watching this kind, this kind of content. So 
what are my predictions for the future for EB2NAW and EB1A when, well, if you know me enough by now, you know that I'm not going to tell you any prediction. I don't believe is uh, the philosophy of this channel to really come up with some numbers. I, I, don't, um, I don't believe in this model. I know there's a lot of anxiety in the immigrant community because some people have been waiting for such a long time, particularly in the family uh, green car um, categories, but also in employment base, especially now with EB2 retrogressing. People are really desperate and I will never, never, never try to benefit from that anxiety, from that desperation. And even though, yes, it is true that I also um, get some revenue for you from YouTube, and my websites also sell some uh, content exclusively related to, to green car petitions. Um, I will never, never, never put out content just for the sake of clickbaiting if I'm not giving you um, the information that I think I would have loved to see when I was a do-it-yourselfer like you are probably now. Uh, so I want to be uh, in your shoes and I want to provide the type of content that I would have loved to see when I was you, basically. So that is all for this week. I hope you like my, my video. This has been a little bit different. I tried to make it a little bit um, fun. And you will never hear me, uh, hear me talking about predictions for visibility. I'm sure people will keep asking. You will see uh, my answers. Um, by the way, we can, we can take a look at what kind of answers I usually give. Okay, so if I go back to that um, comment section, you see, okay, this comment that I read earlier, I wrote, I wish I knew, but nobody does. <laughs> but my predictions for October, and I say, I don't uh, make predictions, and I recommend not hearing to whom um, make predictions because they because nobody knows who what is going to happen okay so that is that is basically a good summary of what are my thoughts here what i believe about this topic and i hope you keep your trust in this channel and keep um, watching subscribe share it with others and i'll see you in the next video if you are interested in those categories eb1a and eb2naw i invite you to take a look at my green car websites eb1greencar.info for eb1a and eb2naw.info for eb2naw where you can find tons of free information about these two green car categories so you can be a do-it-yourself petitioner or even if you are hiring a lawyer so you educate yourself and you know how to deal with the attorneys as well you can download my real sample petitions, cover letter, including cover letter, including recommendation letters, all the documents that are attached to those petitions. For EB2NAW, I also have a great online course. You can find the link in the description below. And overall, these are two great resources for your toolkit.